right, so uh, first off, we're gonna start off with a little recognition. I think uh, pretty much everybody is, is uh, done great with their numbers. Nikki, awesome for getting your 200 points. Awesome job. Everybody's doing open houses, so you guys are getting a little bit better conversion on open houses. Uh, Michael is going to run a little something to talk to you guys about how to convert more of those into open house leads. You know, as far as what to just ask for, as far as, hey, let me get your phone number. I'm not going to bug you. I might just request some additional you know, feedback so I can give it to my seller. You know, that way we can stay in touch. Um, I'll go over basically a couple other uh, scripts too, but uh, you guys are doing awesome. Great job on, you got, did you get, you got your offer finalized, right? On the, That's not yet. On the, Congratulations, that's great. Yeah. yeah, that was only on the market how many days? Um, Before so two weeks, 14, 14 less, yeah, yeah 14 that's, days. That's awesome, that's good, yeah. awesome. What I'll do is we'll get together and we'll figure out a way to really use that as a promotional tool for okay. maybe some of the other ones in that same complex or you know just some different things that you can use it on social media ways to grow your business from that. So awesome job, guys. Uh, today I'm gonna really talk about two things, time management and scripts, which uh, really kind of go should go hand in hand when it makes a little bit more sense, but time management, guys, uh, it's probably the hardest thing that we all need a little bit uh, more improvement on. And uh, they really kind of broke it down into like every 30 minutes. Like, guys, you should be using your Google Calendar, it's free, but basically figure out a way in each day that you can actually book it. You don't have to do it, I do it by like every 30 minutes. Uh, that just they have to, I keep that almost every 30 minutes calculated every single day as far as what I need to do per day. And that's where my staff basically holds me accountable. Uh, find a working partner or try to hold yourself accountable. Time management on what you need to do. Keep you organized, especially if you started out the first of the week, because Mondays we don't really make that many phone calls. So on Monday, just go through and line out your week as far as maybe it's this person needs to follow up with. You can definitely set your reminders on your sync platform, but if you have a Google Calendar, that'll also remind you as far as, hey, this is what I need to do. This is what, this is what time every day I'm gonna spend 30 minutes to check my voicemail through my voicemail, even as basic as that. Uh, my voicemail gets completely full in like two to three days if I don't check my messages. And nothing worse when you're someone trying to call you where it's the very first time they call you and they're like, this voicemail box is full. And I tell you about the agent, <laughs> you know, it's, uh, it's definitely not a good sign if that's, the, if that's the message that they're getting. So I really employ you guys to basically go through Google Box, find out and basically schedule every 30 minutes from, this is, I'm gonna follow up my sphere, this is what I'm gonna do this time. But make sure that you're, you're maximizing every minute of every day. Um, it's really kind of cool, the scripts that they were running when we talked about in, uh, in training in Arizona. Uh, a couple of really cool things that like Eric does to follow up his sphere is to basically, you know, when he's contacting a sphere, people that he hasn't talked to in like a year, two years, five years, or you know, maybe it was a past client, old friend, somebody just had lost contact with, you know. Uh, the easiest way, guys, to really update your database is there's something called My Backup App. And so My Backup App will take all of your contacts, everything that's in your phone, and turn it into an Excel spreadsheet. So basically you'll have some people with phone numbers, email addresses, everything. And the cool thing is, is like, the easiest way to get a referral is through your actual database. You know, your friends, your families, your acquaintances, people that you've known for. And the, the easiest thing is when you're going through this, Use my backup app, get all your data into an Excel spreadsheet, upload all of that into your sync platform, and then basically you'll know whether you have someone's you know, phone number, everything else. You can call them and say, hey, this is Charlie. I've just, uh, how you been? I know it's been a long time. I'm basically just updating my database. Uh, I don't have your email address. Do you mind if I grab your email address? This and that, and then you also say, well, you know, what's new? Did you ever close on that house? You know, are you guys still, what, what's new? What's on the horizon? Anything new on the horizon. And I really like that saying, and I thought we could kind of steal that. Uh, and even if basically when you're talking to your clients, hey, haven't talked to you in a while, hold the database, you know, are you still planning on purchasing what's on the horizon? You know, just I really like that that statement. I think it worked it resonate really well with your database and your old clients too. You know, hey, I know that you were looking a couple years ago, uh, did you ever purchase? What's new, what's on the horizon? So I really like that. Uh, but like I said, take advantage of my backup app. I think it's pretty cheap. Uh, and then get all your data transferred over. It's easier than going through and trying to literally manually input every single one of your contacts. 
and you'll actually find out some of the people that you do have contacts. It makes it easy going through just cleaning up your database. Um, for seeing, guys, when you are following up with someone that basically has a house to sell, or you're going through the investor uh, database, and you're you're you know talking, hey, do you want a cash offer? No, I'm not really interested in selling. You know, not right now. Right now is not the right time. Okay, great. Well, I have your phone number. You might probably grab your email address. That way, we can stay in touch. You know, I'll send you one email a month so you can find out, and it'll always show you what your, I guess, like the market value, your, uh, I guess, your, uh, what is it, your valuation, your home valuation tab. So what I'll do every month is I'll send you a home valuation so you can be the most educated seller. You wouldn't want to be the most knowledgeable seller in the neighborhood. So that's how we're getting their email address, basically to contact them on a monthly basis, bi-monthly basis, uh, but it's easy newsletter. Uh, this right here will help you guys basically get that conversion where maybe not the right time, but you're looking for a nurturer. It's in a neighborhood that we know that we're buying in for our hedge fund investors, or it's just a neighborhood in which you want to dominate. So you know, if you're using the tax roll, you're pulling and scraping all the numbers, you're putting it into your database, you're calling these people, hey, I got your number, you know, uh, I'm, I'm the you know most dominant sales agent in the neighborhood. Just was, and I got a ton of buyers looking to purchase in your neighborhood. I just sold a house in 14 days, and I got a ton of buyers that missed out on this home. You know, I'm just calling the neighborhood to see if they would, if you'd be interested in selling. I know because I've represented a lot of buyers that actually missed out on that property. You know, oh, oh, you're not interested in selling right now? No problem. But let me grab your email address, and I'll stay in touch with you every single month, and I'll send you a home valuation so you know exactly what your home is worth. Wouldn't you want to be the most knowledgeable seller in the neighborhood? Question mark. They have to respond to that. It's, it, it's not, it's an open-ended. So at least this right here will help you guys get over the hump when you're actually trying to close someone just to put them in your nurture to get the, basically the email addresses. Anybody got any questions on either one of these? So what do you guys think? Help, help you get a little bit better conversion? A little, bit, a little bit easier uh, when you know kind of what scripts you're going to go for. What's on the horizon? What you guys got going on? When you want to be the most knowledgeable seller in the neighborhood?